Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is by Elizabeth Bishop, who I know I recently read, but um, this is a poem that I really love, and it's a form that I don't believe I have ever read before here on the show. Elizabeth Bishop, as you might recall, lived from 1911 to 1979, and she was an American poet and short story writer. She was a consultant uh, in poetry to the Library of Congress, in the late 40s, and then she won the Pulitzer Prize in 1956, the National Book Award in 1970, and she was the recipient of the Neustadt International Prize for Literature in 1976. Her poem that I'm going to read today is called One Art, and it is from a collection called Geography 3. I'll go ahead and read it first and then give you a few comments, particularly about the form and the structure of this poem, which is a form that is perhaps my favorite. One Art by Elizabeth Bishop. The art of losing isn't hard to master. So many things seem filled with the intent to be lost, that their loss is no disaster. Lose something every day. Accept the fluster of lost door keys, the hour badly spent. The art of losing isn't hard to master. Then practice losing farther, losing faster, places and names and where it was you meant to travel. None of these will bring disaster. I lost my mother's watch, and look! My last, or or next to last, of three loved houses went. The art of losing isn't hard to master. I lost two cities, lovely ones, and, vaster, some realms I owned, two rivers, a continent. I missed them, but it wasn't a disaster. Even losing you, the joking voice, a gesture I love. I shan't have lied. It's evident the art of losing's not too hard to master, though it may look like, write it, like disaster. So the form of this poem is a villanelle, which is an originally French poetic form, I believe. It's a 19-line form consisting of five tercets followed by a quatrain. So that, in other words, there are five stanzas that have three lines, and then the last stanza has four lines. There are two refrains and two repeating rhymes, with the first and third line of the tercet repeated alternately until the last stanza, which includes both repeated lines. Now that sentence there was just from Wikipedia. The word villanelle derives from Latin or Italian and has to do with the idea of being pastoral. So originally, the villanelle was a, uh, a form that was used uh, quite commonly for pastoral poems. As I said, the villanelle was originally uh, invented. It derives from, from France, from, from French poets. But I believe I read that more English uh, poets have written villanelles than any, anybody else, um, or at least in the English language. Uh, in particular, Auden and Dylan Thomas are known for their villanelles. You might know Dylan Thomas's poem, Do Not Go Gently Into That Good Night, a poem which I'll be reading here soon on the show in the next couple of weeks. I mentioned the, the idea of the repeating lines, the refrains. So basically, the first line of the first stanza serves as the last line of the second and fourth stanza. So in this case, the art of losing isn't hard to master is the first line and then the last line of the second and fourth stanzas. And the third line of the first stanza serves as the last line of the third and the fifth stanzas. So in this case, she plays with that a little bit. Her, her last line of the first stanza is to be lost, that their loss is no disaster. And then she, you see her saying, none of these will bring disaster. And the third stanza, and then at the end of the fifth stanza, I miss them, but it wasn't a disaster. So she's playing with that a little bit. She's being a little bit loose with that second part. One of the things I like about this form is the way that it forces a through line or a thread. So each stanza thus has a common theme um, and even a common uh, thought and some common language that holds the poem together. There's not typically necessarily a a consistent rhyme scheme that goes with a villanelle, and thus it allows for some freedom from that perspective. But it also lends a sense of unity to a poem, and um, that can really enhance the poet's ability to express the ideas um, and and to uh, capture the images that he or she is trying to capture. So that's what I like about it. This is a great one, a great form to teach with your students, especially if you have older students, and it's a really fun one to practice yourself for what it's worth. Okay, one more time. This is One Art by Elizabeth Bishop. The art of losing isn't hard to master. So many things seem filled with the intent to be lost that their loss is no disaster. Lose something every day, except the fluster of lost door keys, the hour badly spent, The art of losing isn't hard to master. 
Then practice losing farther, losing faster, places and names and where it was you meant to travel. None of these will bring disaster. I lost my mother's watch, and look, my last or next to last of three loved houses went. The art of losing isn't hard to master. I lost two cities, lovely ones, and vaster, some realms I owned, two rivers, a continent. I missed them, but it wasn't a disaster. Even losing you, the joking voice, a gesture I love, I shan't have lied. It's evident the art of losing's not too hard to master, though it may look like, write it, like disaster. This has been The Daily Poem. Thank you so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you. Thank you.